So how do cavemen fit in the Bible timeline? This is a good question. The first thing we need to start with is the age of the Earth. The Earth isn't millions and billions of years old like the theory of evolution dictates. They come at this with false preconceived notions and biases about the age of the Earth. When we look at layers of strata and rock formations, that does not represent geological ages, but rather is evidence of a worldwide flood where sediment was quickly dispersed and settled. You can see in this example the sedimentary layers that form in this jar in a matter of five hours. This is evidence of a worldwide flood, not millions and millions of years. In fact, do you know that there is fossilized trees going through multiple layers of these rock formations? Here's a clip of Kent Hovind talking about these polystrata fossils. But here they are telling the kids the layers are different ages, and yet all over the world, petrified trees are found, like this one, standing up, connecting different rock layers. Now, if you have a petrified tree standing up, running through multiple rock layers, I don't think it's common sense to say the layers are different ages. They're called polystrata fossils, going through multiple layers. They're very common. Hundreds and hundreds have been found. Sometimes trees are found petrified upside down, running through multiple rock layers. Now we really have a problem. I've thought about this one until my brain hurts. Maybe those trees were buried in a big flood. Hmm? The reliability of C14 carbon dating is also debunked in another video that I have in this TikTok playlist. Now, what about the missing links? Many of these discoveries are either wildly imaginative with artistic license or straight up hoaxes. Nebraska man, who was formed from one single tooth, was later found to be the tooth of a pig. Piltdown Man was in the textbooks for 40 years as proof of evolution, which was later proven to be a hoax of a human skull and an ape jaw filed down to match together and combined. Neanderthal Man was thought to be an ape man in the process of becoming upright and walking bipedally. But in reality, this was 100% human that was an old man with arthritis. He was in the process of hunching down, not straightening up. Dr. Jack Cuso, who is both a dentist and an author, examined the skull of Rhodesia man, a Neanderthal, and he wrote that the skull and teeth had many features that suggest that it was a normal human skull, but exhibited extremely advanced age. This is interesting because Dr. Brian Thomas of the Institute of Creation Research notes that our frontal brow bone of our forehead continues to grow throughout our lifetime, just like our ears in our nose. If you read through the scripture, the average age before the flood was 912 years. After the flood, as the environmental conditions changed and the oxygen pressure changed, lifespans decreased from 900 to about 400, eventually to about 100 years, to where we are today, between 70 and 80 years for the average lifespan. You remember Lucy, the supposed missing link and proof of evolution? Donald Johansson was given a grant to search the world to find the missing link. And his grant was about to expire. He had two weeks left before they would take away his money. And then he happened upon Lucy. Lucy is three feet tall. It's obviously remnants of chimpanzees, but the skull was crushed so it was indiscernible. No feet or hands were found. Some of Lucy's parts had more than a mile difference from where they were found. And other parts had a difference in depth of about 70 meters. This is kind of ridiculous when you think about it. A zoo in St. Louis made a statue of Lucy in what they thought she would look like. And she was given fully human feet, even though no feet were found as part of Lucy's skeletal structure. And by the way, human feet are a huge problem for evolution. When you look at ape feet, they are drastically different. And so somehow making the jump from an ape-like foot to a human foot is purely artistic license trying to create a missing link. Now that does not mean that legitimate human fossils have not been found in caves. They have. There have been 100% human fossils found in caves. What's the timeline of these? But when you take into account a biblical understanding of the age of the earth, as well as how those rock layers were formed because of the flood. That puts these cavemen at about the time of just after the flood up until around the time of Abraham. The time of the flood roughly ended in 2350 BC. The time of the Tower of Babel 
was around 2250 BC, a hundred years later, where the languages were confounded and the people were dispersed throughout the earth. And around 2000 BC is the time of Abraham. This is the era where these cavemen would have been alive. Now, dwelling in caves was a common practice in the Bible. And it was even more common in the Bible to bury your dead in caves. In Job 30, Job says, They were driven forth from among them. They cried after them as after a thief to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys and the caves of the earth and in the rocks. According to Job, people that were not of a good moral character would dwell in the caves, thieves and robbers. And it's estimated that Job lived right around the same time as Abraham. Lot and his daughters lived in a cave. It says, And Lot went up out of Zoar and dwelt in the mountain, and his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in Zoar, and he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. Again, the time of Abraham. Once Abraham's wife Sarah died, he buried her in the cave of Machpelah. After Abraham died, Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the same cave with his wife Sarah. When Jacob died, he was buried in the same cave. In Joshua 10, five kings hide in the cave at Makeda. In Judges 6, the children of Israel end up dwelling in caves to hide from the Midianites. When David was running for his life from King Saul, the Bible says he dwelt in the cave Adullam. Later, David spares Saul's life when Saul is going into a cave in En Gedi to use the bathroom. In 1 Kings 18, Obadiah hides a hundred prophets of the Lord as he's fleeing from Jezebel. In 1 Kings 19, the prophet Elijah is hiding from Jezebel in a cave. And so to answer your question, cavemen were not missing links, but were humans living in the time of Abraham, living much longer than normal human beings live today, and dwelling in, or at least being buried in, caves.